Excellency, when it comes to promoting ICT development, what are the biggest challenges still facing developing nations? First, if you discuss concerning the ICT, we should know the characteristic of the ICT itself. The ICT is part of the culture. So to develop the ICT related with the nation's development, we should know concerning the culture of the community of the nation itself. In our case, it means in Indonesian case, the big problem, big challenge is diversity. Diversity, the point of view, the culture. We have from the student era until the information era, all the culture is inside on one capsule what the name of Indonesia. Yeah. So if we want to, to develop the, our nations, Indonesian nations, so we should understand from the stone era and the information era. The secondly, diversity, the point of view the geographically. As you know, the Indonesia has uh, several islands and which difference characteristic of the physical and diverse the point of view infrastructure availability. So to develop the nation related with the ICT, we should understand concerning the culture itself. We should understand concerning the lacking of the infrastructure. We should understand concerning the human resources itself. While the internet is a powerful resource for communication and learning, it can be a powerful weapon in the wrong hands. What actions are needed to make cyberspace a safe place for all? If we discuss concerning the cyberspace, cyber technology, one of the characteristics is not depending on the area, not depending on the country, but all of the countries related with the cyber technology, cyberspace. So if we discuss concerning the cyber security, it means not only the certain countries, but all of the world. So why uh, the certain activities should introduce to protect, to avoid the cyber crime, to develop the cyber security. First, I think we should set up what we call the international acclimation, the international protocol, like we introduce the Geneva Protocol. And secondly, the cooperation amongst all of the country. So the cyber space, cyber security, not only related with the developed countries, but also with the developing countries, under developing countries, all of the world. And third, we should develop of the capacity building. Because without the capacity building, I think the ability, the capability of the people and also the understanding, the necessity to follow the rule of the conduct, I think uh, it's very difficult. So why the capacity development, capacity building, is have to. Thank you. Excellency, thank you very much. Thank you.